These flying grasshoppers that you see when you're backpacking all the time, these are great bait. You can uh, stick it on a hook and put it into a, put a little split shot above it and throw it in a stream and let it flow down. Sometimes they float when you put the hook on them. When they float, you can have it with a split shot and throw it out in the lake and the bait will float up off the bottom. If it sinks, you can put a bobber on it with a split shot and, that, and that'll hold it. Trout will gobble these up, so I'm gonna save this guy. What I do is I take a fly swatter with me. I bend the handle to make it smaller and I always keep it with me when I go to the Sierras because these things are always flying around. And whenever you see one, it makes it really easy if you got a fly swatter to smack that thing and get them and save them for later. Um, if you don't have a fly swatter, what works is if you dampen a cloth, a t-shirt or something, just lightly dampen it so it's not too wet, you can smack them with that pretty good too, with a damp t-shirt. Not too wet, because that's going to get too sloppy and crush them. If you, if you just make it lightly damp, the t-shirt will work too. So, these grasshoppers are great. If you want to fold, I just bend the handle to make it small and keep it in. I just stick it in my backpack. It doesn't take up any space. And sometimes, sometimes there's tons of these. And like if you could find a deep pool in a stream where the water's swirling around and you could put a split shot, a little tiny split shot about two feet up from this grasshopper, hook him with one of those bait holder hooks in my beginner basics tackle clip, toss that thing into that water and let it get down in there. You'll nail some nice trout. Uh, bobber with a split shot or on the bottom if it floats. These grasshoppers are money. They're natural. They, the fish love them. They, they attack them as se the second they see them. It's great. So forage your bait. And what I do is I just throw it in a box or throw it in a plastic bag. And you have them when you want to go fishing. If you want to sit in the shade and just fish, you got it. I hope that tip was useful. Uh, if you found this tip useful, Subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of stuff on there that uh, might help you when you're in the outdoors or maybe uh, add something to your wealth of knowledge that you already have. So uh, uh, thanks for joining me on Wilderness with Imani and uh, get out there and do some fishing.